we study the quiet green creatures of the forest, the plants. You might not think of them as wildlife. They don't run or fly, and they don't have eyes. They tend to blend into the green leafy background, and we don't notice them until they suddenly reveal themselves with bright flowers or ripe fruits. But they are wild creatures, incredibly diverse, each with its own unique life history, its own way of surviving. Some plants give us medicines, others are food or homes for insects, birds, and mammals. Some are loved for their beauty, while others are mysteries that scientists have yet to study. In Canada, many of the species at risk of extinction are plants. The places in Canada with the greatest diversity of plants are mostly in the south, which is also where the most people live. For example, the landscape of southern Ontario was once mostly covered in forest. Now the forests occur as small fragments, separated by crop fields and subdivisions. Rare plants are missing from many of these forest fragments, but it isn't clear why. Is there something about the habitat that isn't right? Or is the habitat perfectly suitable, but the plant can't get its seeds across cornfields and subdivisions? We want to figure out what is limiting plant species at risk. With our partners, we've been growing two species of rare woodland plants, the wood poppy and the crooked stem aster. We are bringing these plants to new sites on protected land. We use computer models to estimate the quality of the habitat at each site. By helping the plants get to new sites, we can test whether the difficulty dispersing seeds to distant forest patches is the reason why these species have so few populations. We are also surrounding some of the plants with protective fencing to test whether herbivores are a threat to their survival. We are tracking the growth and survival of individual plants, both in the newly planted sites and in the existing wild populations. We want to know which populations are likely to survive long into the future, and which populations may be on their way to extinction. What characteristics of the forest are associated with stable or growing populations? Our goal is to increase the number of viable populations of these plant species in Canada. By translocating plants and seeds to new sites, we hope to establish safeguarded populations on protected land. Conservation translocation has been used to recover many animal species in Canada, but plant translocation is rare. True recovery means increasing the number of self-sustaining populations on the landscape. To give these quiet green creatures a chance, it is up to us to figure out why they are so rare, what they need to thrive, and how to help them before it's too late.